welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a spring clean of my basement and a KonMari of the toy room and my party supply closet. It's a storage closet that has just gotten disastrous. Here, I'll show you. Last time I organized this hot mess, I was nesting with Presley and had a huge belly. It's actually a really funny old video. But, I mean, stuff has just gotten thrown in here. But yeah, it's time to do a serious KonMari of this space because I, I just can't take it anymore. I'll show you guys a little bit of the method to this madness. I've got clothing bins that I'm gonna use for trash and recycling, a donation bin, because I'm hoping to give a lot of stuff away, and just some things that I think I'm gonna have to reorganize. I'm gonna do a little tour. And while you watch today, make sure that you're subscribed. I don't know what that stain is. Maybe peanut butter. Gotta clean that. Looks like somebody had too much fun with the fruit pouch. Does anyone else's husband just never hang the stuff that you buy? <laughs> Gotta put all these things back in that storage cupboard in a more organized way. There's the playroom from the other side. And... Movie room. There's just a lot of stuff. We were like trying to reorganize all of our storage closets, so pretty much everything is pulled out almost. We still got some stuff in there. But yeah, we've got a lot to do today. Are you ready to clean with me today? Okay, and I did decide I'm gonna actually, instead of like organize for right now, I think that would be more for the closet. I'm gonna put any of the toys that I want to disinfect in this bin, and I'm gonna disinfect those today too. But let's get started decluttering and purging these toys. And I'd like to thank Blinkist for sponsoring today's Clean With Me video. I'm so excited to share this with you because it's my new favorite thing. And if you've never heard of Blinkist, it's an app. It takes the best insights and need to know information from thousands of nonfiction books and condenses them down into just 15 minutes or so so that you can listen to them and don't have to sit there reading through an entire book but you get the best learnings from it. And there's anything from self-help to business to history, and we are all busy, but that doesn't mean that you should have to stop learning and improving yourself. So I highly recommend Blinkist if you are busy, but still want to read and get really good, valuable information. I listen to the seven habits of highly effective people. I listen to my morning routine, and I'm currently listening to Under Pressure, which is about anxiety and stress of young girls and how to support young women because of course I'm thinking of Presley and just going off of my experiences but it's just so easy to listen to this app while I'm cleaning and organizing and still get really valuable information. I just started a new book so so I have a link in my description box. The first 100 people who go to Blinkist.com slash Brianna are going to get unlimited access for one week to try it out, and then you'll get 25% off if you want the full membership. I'm sure that these spots are going to go fast, but for the people who get in there, I would highly recommend The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. That one was amazing. You can also listen to the download of Becoming by Michelle Obama on it, which was an amazing book. I just connected to her so much. Um, the seven day trial though is completely free. You can cancel at any time during that period if you decide that you don't want to get a membership, but make sure you use that link in my description box if you want to try it for a week for free. And there were some more weird stains on the carpet. I'm not sure if Presley just ran around with a peanut butter spoon, so I'm using carpet cleaner to get those out. Next, I'm wiping down all of the kids' kitchen and shelves and table. I'm really trying to hit every surface possible in the playroom so that everything is clean for the spring. The only thing that I didn't do this time was my baseboards or any of the glass surfaces. I ran out of paper towels right before starting this video, and I decided I'm going to do a steam clean of the carpets down here another day either before or after the kids' birthday parties. You tell me which you think would be better, but I wanna move all of the furniture away from the walls, so I'm just gonna wait and do the baseboards thoroughly when I go to do that. And 
And I feel like my kids are in this phase where a lot of their toys are just bulky and big. I don't know if anybody else feels this way about toddler toys. They just take up so much space. And I want them to actually be part of the KonMari process and think about what they really need and learn about donating things. So I'm also going to have them do an extra purge of some of the bigger toys and things. But for now, I was able to get rid of some of the stuff that just aren't age appropriate or whatever I know that they don't play with. I also vacuumed as I went down here today. There was a lot of stuff that I just had to shift around, especially the racetracks or some of the other toys. So I just tried to vacuum as I got to each section so that it all got a good sweep. My crafting and wrapping bins had gotten really cluttered as well, so it was nice to give this a huge declutter. I feel like everything is back in its place and it doesn't have anything piled on top of these bins anymore. Since I've gone through all of the kids' toys and decluttered everything in the play area, I'm heading upstairs to my kitchen sink to disinfect all of their plastic toys. I just plugged the sink, used really hot water, and added lemon Lysol. I let them soak, and then I used a strainer to take the toys out, rinsing them as I went, and then I just dumped them on towels to sit and dry while I finished cleaning the rest of the basement.
Now I'm down to the man cave side of the basement where we had a lot of seasonal decor bins out that just needed to be reorganized in our one storage closet. So I got all those put back and did a little sweep of this area. The bar area, I did a top to bottom dusting and then I made sure I wiped down the bar and all of the stools. In our movie room, we have another storage area that was some seasonal decor, but it was mostly baby stuff. So there were actually some things I'm going to just donate now that we never used with our first two babies. So I'm assuming we won't use it with baby number three either. And then I just did a reorganization of the current bins that were in that storage area. And after I swept the storage area out, I wiped everything down in the movie room and straightened up the pillows and blankets and beanbag chairs. At this point, the toys upstairs were dry, so I brought them back downstairs and reorganized them. All right, so before I do the supply closet KonMari, this is everything that has already been kanmari that is getting donated. So a bunch of baby stuff, a lot of toys, some just Easter decor that I just am not gonna use anymore. So a lot of stuff that is getting donated today. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be up late probably finishing the closet because the kids are gonna be home in about like 45 minutes and I just don't think I can tackle it in 45 minutes or it will be like the quickest kanmari ever. So I'm gonna do a little tour so you can see just kind of how everything is. I kind of made this like a sports corner and use these big baskets. And my hack guys, I always use neutral colored storage bins besides those like Dollar Tree ones, but they're a dollar so you can't really pass them up. But I like all of my toy storage to be very plain, either 
white or gray or wood just because the toys themselves are so colorful. And I put all of Landon's like wood train and car tracks there. There's a couple stuffed animals. I downsized a lot of stuffed animals that honestly I know they just sit in the bins all the time. This is another racetrack he plays with a lot. Other stuffed animals are down there. And then I just kind of set out the things that I know they grab quite often, but I like that I have a lot of empty space just because their birthdays are coming up. And I just kept like the cars and trucks that they always use. The freshly washed blocks are in there. They smell amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good down here in general now that everything's clean, but it's nice to have those disinfected and all of the toys wiped down. This is their little tent hangout area. And the tent, by the way, everybody always asks me, that was from Pottery Barn Kids. I think we got that for Landon for his second birthday, so it's been about two years now. Their little kitchen set, which I organized all of the food inside of the refrigerator. It's not organized, it's just thrown in those little bins inside of the refrigerator, because it had originally been on these shelves. And again, it's kind of nice to just have some cleared out shelf space. I might end up maybe grabbing more bins at Target and I need to redo the chalk labels on there too, but I think I'm gonna save that and do an, like an organization video where I'm just gonna update how I've organized some things. Cleaned off their table, Prezi's dress up stations here. All of the different riding truck things are here. I guess we have another like sports station, just we have two hoops down here. All of Landon's race car tracks are here now and Presley's dollhouse and their easels here. I also have some more bins that are opened up. I like having the floor bins too, just cause I feel like they help clean up better that way, but it still feels very busy down here to me. What I wanna do though is go through these with them and kind of have them decide, do you wanna keep, you know, the drum set, I know they'll wanna keep that, but maybe which of these riding things do they really wanna keep or get rid of? because I want to involve them in the process of like learning how to donate things. Um, and then in all of these Rubbermaid bins, this is sort of all of my gift wrap stuff. And then everything else in here, this is a scrapbook. See, and I have like stickers, letters, paper, any of the pictures. Um, and then these two bins are a lot of my like Dollar Tree crafting supplies. So different Mod Podge and paints and glitter and things like that. And I put all those balls that I washed in there for that pop-up Mickey mini thing that was out earlier. I ended up closing it out just because it takes so much space. But these are all just kind of like empty storage bins that I can use too if I just need more storage down here. And then over here, it doesn't look pretty, but at least it's like all kind of stacked up and put in there neatly now. And the bar area, don't mind the bin on there. I still have to do the storage closet again, but at least the bar area is all clean. And again, the movie room, this is all straightened and clean. It smells so good in here since I used that mint cleaner. And I'll probably use the mint air freshener then when I walk around later too. And the storage closet in here just looks a lot neater now too. I'm just so mad that they were out of paper towels because I can't clean any of the like glass picture frames here or just I wanted to like clean off that whole popcorn machine and like wine fridge too and I can't but I'll get paper towels and I'll finish that job. But okay, time for this job. Are you ready? I'm ready. I want to do it so bad. Let's go. Since there was a lot of space left in the movie room storage, I moved a lot of the stuff out of this closet and put it more neatly into that one, including some of the Christmas trees since there was already Christmas decor bins in there. And it just helped to make this more of a functional space so I could actually walk in and get to my party supplies.
I feel like I made progress. I didn't get to like the level I really want to get to, but honestly, I think because of Landon and Presley's birthdays and even Adam's birthday coming up, I might just wait until those events are over and then come down and do a really thorough KonMari of like what do I actually need in this party supply closet because honestly there's also a lot of stuff I can probably use potentially for the bar mitzvah that I'm planning to so it looks a lot better I ended up putting I had a lot of Tupperware not Tupperware <laughs> rubber made containers in here like storage containers for the kids clothes and I ended up putting those in the movie room storage closet just because there was so much space in there so that this is like a lot more functional for walking in and grabbing stuff because when all that stuff was here you just it was really difficult to walk in so I still have everything color coordinated it's just not everything was fitting to the bins like all of these gold utensils I just kind of stacked up next to that but everything is color coordinated or like party theme coordinated and I know it doesn't look like super Pinterest pretty but at least like I can come in and reach and grab anything that I need for whatever the party theme might be in here can at least clean up that drawer a little bit but <laughs> you get the idea I think just because I still have a lot of parties and things that I'm doing I don't want to get rid of anything but it looks a lot more cleared out and functional than it once did but my ideal I think I would like to get shelves along that because I never hang anything like that hanging bar is there but we don't hang anything in here same thing like there's one there we don't hang anything in here so I just feel like it would make sense to have more shelves so maybe that's another upcoming project and here is all of the stuff that's going to be getting donated there's so much do you see all of that <laughs> so much stuff so at least it feels good like I've cleared out a bunch of things, made a bunch of space. I hope that you guys enjoyed this spring clean and like trying to just purge stuff out of this basement. If you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in my next one. Thank you again to Blinkist for sponsoring today's video. I literally, I listened to so many books while I was down here doing this clean. It was awesome, so make sure you use that link if you want to get that free trial and 25% off of your membership for the first 100 people that use it. All right, see you in my next video. Bye loves.